If you're anything like my students, you know you're capable of much better iron strikes. And in my experience of teaching hundreds of golfers, it's about the chest. Now look at Rory McIlroy's chest just before impact. It's ahead of the golf ball. The same with Tommy Fleetwood. And this gets the bottom of the arc and the low point of the swing on the target side. This means you start to hit down and create compression. One of the best swingers of all time, Adam Scott, look at the positions he creates. Now I'm gonna show you exactly how you can get the correct pattern of movement and strike your irons. So we're gonna be focusing and you're gonna learn two key elements today. What your chest does in this downswing and how you complement your arms. So you can really stand here and have that flexibility to be so comfortable through the hit, even with long irons in your hand. Like that strike there. It really just felt as though my club was just falling on the ball. Right, let's start with chest. All you're gonna need for this drill is the club you're gonna use, and it's still like winter here. The club you're gonna use to hit away. So let's just start off with something maybe comfortable like eight iron, seven iron, possibly six iron if you're feeling brave, but let's go seven iron. And then, a club to place on the ground. So let's focus on where we wanna finish. So where this chest wants to be at that point of impact. So if we said at that address position, it starts where the middle of our sternum, referencing our chest, is stacked over the top of our belt buckle. We don't want it too much this way. You can imagine we'd be a little bit upwards in this space. Equally, we don't want it too much down here. We'd be a little bit all out of sorts. What we're looking to do is get that chest ahead of the golf ball. So you can look and see how powerful this position is right here. So if we're looking for a measurement, all I'm looking for it is to be that much ahead of the golf ball. Now, this will need a little bit of weight transfer, but really focusing on getting that chest ahead. So let's just start off by simply just placing a golf club down, a grip ahead. So it should, from player cam, look very much like this. Our club starting here, and we're looking to move our chest that much ahead of the golf ball. So it's not a lot, but it makes the world of difference. So you've got to think, starting with our chest pretty much on the golf ball, and let's say the bottom of this hoop represented, if I place it on the ground, where my sternum is, the bottom of my swing. If my sternum moved behind, you can see how I'd always fat or thin the golf ball, working in that space. If we train it to feel low and weight ahead, look at what scenarios we start to get. The bottom of my circle now is roughly that grip ahead, so just that much there. Now, we don't need the hoop any longer. All I want you to do is start off by understanding that we start with them stacked on top, we turn it around the corner and practice emulating that position. Whereas if you were to drop a club from the middle of your sternum, boom, it's either hitting that golf club or it's just ahead. If you do this for a few reps and it's falling behind, you know you've not got enough chest low and opening and transferring. Look where my sternum is. Just really honestly try this for three to eight reps. Emulating that finishing impact position. And have a look at Rory here. This position here in the middle is exactly what we're talking about. Look how the chest is just ahead of where the golf ball is. And then look how the chest on the way through rotates through nicely. Another common denominator, Adam Scott does it. All top ball strikers do it, and now it's your chance to learn it too. And when you're feeling a little more comfortable, hit one away for me. with that as your focus point. Little baby draws onto the flag. We take that strike every single time. Now we've not covered these arms yet. The simplest way of thinking about these arms is this. You want to leave them, right, to do their thing. Alex, surely. 
it can't be that simple. Well, of course it can. Think about it logically. Your arms, specifically your right arm, starts pretty much straight out, maybe a little bit of flex in it. So somewhere around this position here, like it's not locked out, but it's got a little bit of flex. In the backswing, it moves and gets this slightly bent position. So on the way down, as we're lowering and getting our chest, we've got to trust and learn to extend our right arm. So for every motion we feel, we lower and extend. Like if I was just to give you a ball here, you wouldn't think of a specific point at which you threw it. You would learn to combine the action together. By the way, I really feel like you have so much freedom here, so much power and just a relaxed golf swing, which is something we all want. So have a few practice swings, one-handed to the top, getting low, leaving it up there, and lowering the arms and through. Your focus, maybe just try it like I'm doing here, I've just thought of this, over, extend. And I would focus on that point at first power on the way through, we've got a long right arm. Simple focus points for great ball striking. And you're gonna have confidence coming out your ears. That's even the right thing. <laughs> that was to the bunch. I felt like low and boof. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell. That way I can keep you up to date with everything that's going on here at Alex Elliott Golf. Plus, I can help you play your best golf this summer.